So you got yourself DJI RC3 controller and you are ready to fly FPV or manual mode, then this video is for you. You finally got RC3 controller and you are ready for manual. So today I will show you how to prepare your RC3 controller to be able actually to fly manual mode. Because originally when you buy RC controller, it's coming with springs loaded on both of the sticks. So that is no good for FPV. So you need actually to do some adjustments for your RC3 controller in order to be able to fly manual mode. So, so here we have RC controller 3. You will need two tools. You will need Allen key which is coming with controller. So you don't need to get separate one. It will be already in a package with controller. And you will need something to open the pads behind. You can do it with your fingers, with the nails or something. But in order not to scratch, you can just get some small plastic thing with which one you can open it. Or in case if you are playing guitar, so get the thing from guitar okay so here we have the controller as you see both of the sticks is loaded with the spring so in order for you to be able to fly you need to release on one of the sides the spring so you can put the throttle on one of the sides because throttle is working from zero till hundred but you, you don't need it to be coming back in the center because then that's mean that throttle will keep all the time on 50% and that is no good for FPV flying. So, all you need to do is first to decide which side you will have a throttle. The good thing about controllers, let's say DJI and especially this one, RC3, is that you can try mo one of the modes, let's say when you have a throttle on the left stick, if you are not feeling comfortable, then you can just put it on the right stick. It's up to you. <clears throat> because for me, that was the case for me. Because I started with, I saw the videos that every single person is using left side. So I was like, okay, yeah, I will put the left side stick as a throttle and I will be ready. I tried left stick, it wasn't working for me. And I was like, okay, what? I'm not made to fly FPV or there is <laughs> some other issues. But then uh, I realized that I can try to put opposite throttle on the right side. So I tried it on the right side and since then I'm stuck with the right side. Recently I was trying to put back on the left throttle and I couldn't fly at all. So I stick with the right one. So today I will be showing how to do it on the right side. But if you want to do it on the left, it's exactly the same thing as on the left or the right side. So in the beginning, you take your plastic tool after you decided which side you want to be throttle. So then you just, in my case, it will be right side. Here, there is, I'm not sure if you can see, there is small arrow here. That means that you need to open it here. Okay. And as you saw with small plastic piece or any sort of tool to not scratch and damage the controller, you just can open it. If you want, you can try with your fingers. So when you open the pad, you will see you will see two holes. One is marked as F1, one is marked as F2. So in order to release the spring which is holding the stick, you need to go F2 all the way in. So there is a screw and you use the Allen key and you just go all the way in 
till it stops. Okay, so that is nearly that. Hop. Don't tighten it a lot, it will stop on its own. So you will feel that don't need to go further. It will stop. So, and if you see, the spring is off for this side of stick. Okay, so now, in order for add attention to stick, so it can stay where it's, where it's left, you need to go and tighten up F2. So, you just put the Allen key inside, go a couple of times, and check how... Okay, this is a little bit too tight for me, so I need to release it a little bit more. The hole is very small, so a little bit. Okay, maybe a little bit... A little bit more. Yeah, that seems right for my taste, how it's going. And as you see, now as you fixed the side of the throttle, so it's staying down. So that means the throttle will be zero. And it's just like a gas pedal, you just increase it up and it stays where you leave. It's not going back to center anymore. So now the stick is ready, you just slowly close the pad, just close it, there is small plastic rubber, sorry, not plastic rubber, so here you go, and as you see, it's completely closed, and your controller is ready for FPV, if you want to see how to set it up with in DJI goggles and start your first FPV flight, just subscribe or leave the comment down below and I will make another video. Anyway, the, another video is incoming, I will make it. So just if you want to see it, just subscribe and you will see, you will be notified when I will upload the new video of how to connect RC3 controller with the goggles with DJI drones like DJI Neo or DJI Avata. And just small disclaimer, I'm not sponsored to do it. I just, I'm just doing it to teach you so you are ready to be flying FPV.